North Rhine-Westphalia, Germany's most industrialized and popular state, houses about 40% of the country's companies covering the areas of mechanical engineering, manufacturing, telecommunications and e-commerce, among others. For more than seven decades, the state has been the backbone of Germany's economy, making it one of the outstanding industrialized nations in the world. President Ekufado's visit here is twofold. First, to congratulate the state as an industrial hub on her 75th anniversary, and then to glean some lessons back home as Ghana works towards becoming a nation that adds value to raw materials. We in Ghana are drawing inspiration from the success stories of North Rhine, Westphalia and Germany. Because likewise, we want to build a progressive and prosperous country. There's an often cited African proverb which says, and I quote, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. We have resolved to work hand in hand with North Rhine, Westphalia and Germany because we desire to walk far, especially as we share common attachments to the common values of respect for individual liberties and human rights, of respect for the rule of law, and of respect for the principles of democratic accountability. After commending them on the achievement, President Ekufado also conveyed Ekowas' sympathies to the people of North Rhine-Westphalia on the recent flooding that occurred there. President Ekufado told the gathering, including the German Chancellor Angela Merkel and Minister President for North Rhine-Westphalia, Armin Laschet, that Ghana aspires to build a prosperous nation like Germany. Ghana is doing her part in leading the march for the development of Africa. It is an exciting time for us. We welcome residents and enterprises of North Rhine-Westphalia, and indeed of Germany as a whole, to join us to achieve this goal. I wish you in North Rhine-Westphalia a happy 75th anniversary and the best of luck in the next 75 years. Vielen Dank. Thank you. North Rhine-Westphalia, who suffered massive destruction in the Second World War, picked up the pieces in 1946 and has emerged as one of the greatest industrial states in Europe.